Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to some more X4 Kingdom End. Old mates doing their thing. So we've made some progress, we've made some understandings, we're settling into our sort of min-maxing. Um, what was I going to say? Someone pointed out that maybe getting tier 3 pilots is a little while off. And management's not something I need to teach guys. Um, that's more for base management, but we're not really there yet. Um, I do wonder, we're shoring up our economy. That's the big priority. That's inter how interesting is it that the music turns off when he lands? Um, so I think for the most part, I figured out how to trade autonomously, which is exciting. Um, and how to mine soon. autonomously. No, that's fine, mate. You do what you got to do, brother. Brother. Oh, look at this. There's a jump gate down here. Interesting. So what we might even do is we're going to save up and we're going to buy a new ship. But I might do a little bit more exploring, right? Um, just because, well, going through this jump gate would be sensible, seeing what's down there. But we've even got some question marks down there and... Uh, and yeah. Now people have pointed out that having like docking computers or no, um, is that one of them? Upgraded trade computers or something or even dropping satellites might be sensible. But I would also counter that if I just fill this entire sector with a billion trade ships and tell them to trade, fill, fill in deals and all that sort of stuff, I probably won't need it because every time they go to a station, they're updating the, the trade information, right? Time until information expires. And I'm assuming that they will be attempting... So, okay, so let's say no one's been out to this the Royal Trading Post in a while, right? Which, you know, the information's getting down. But still... Would they not hypothetically go out there for a trade according to dodgy data? Like, they would commit to the trade. And then when they get there, it'll update the data. Now, that might cancel the trade. That might not be hyper-efficient. But it's a way of potentially updating the trade data just by having a dude go there. I suppose the argument would be if no one ever goes to the station, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going with my brute force thing as I uh, brute force everything that I do. Uh, and I think that might be a viable way of going about it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, someone also uh, suggested setting up like a, a factory that makes hull parts. I mean, yeah, absolutely. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. When I zoom out like this, see how, what dictates the order? So, Like, why is Bofu at the top for sold wares and they've only got 24 selling? Like, it's almost random. Hull parts bought. The best I can under... I have no idea what dictates the order of these because as best as I can tell, well... Like, I was hoping it'd be a demand thing, but those little hexes seem to represent demand, right? So, it looks like they want 50,000 units. Plankton. Medical supply. They sell... Yeah. I don't know. It's like from this... What I'm sort of getting at is from this info readout, perhaps... If, say I was going to build a station that specialised in the manufacture of X, right? Reading this top to bottom, would it be safe to say that buying some... That making a station that manufactures plankton may well be the smartest move. 
You know what I mean? Otherwise, I'm just stumped. Otherwise, this all just seems random. 24,000 units. 50,000 units. I don't know. Um, okay, that's fine. So what do we got? $348,000. We're getting close to buying a ship. Um. So this means gas. Plankton. See, there you go. Now that sold wares. Bofu. 24. It's so wild. Uh, like, I I get that the tool's there and it's got information. It's just not very readable or helpful. Um, okay. Where are we? Wharf. Entering Kingdom End. One. Wonderful. We were potentially going to get a Terrapin Courier on minimum preset. And I think it's compulsory to have a captain. There you go, one out of five mandatory. I'm not really against crewing at minimal. And what's that? 351,000. So I'm a couple grand short, so we'll wait for a few more deliveries. Um, as much as the dividends from, from mining might seem more immediately, uh, beneficial, I feel like dominating at trade could, could be kingly. And, and that is definitely the cheapest option. Like, I know it's got the huge cargo storage, but I'm, I don't even really care, to be honest. Let's say I did minimum loadout. See, 300,000? At that point, much of a muchness. 270,000 for a 500 storage? I mean, that's, that's 100 grand less. 260 for a little fighter. It only has small storage, but who cares? You know what I mean? Like, trades by a thousand cuts is sort of what we're going for here. 240,000. Hang on, why haven't I explored this? 245,000 at minimal loadout for 790 hold. How did I overlook this? Oh, that's a miner, right? But can that even mine without a mining laser? I don't, I don't know if it actually can. Oh, so... It doesn't have any container storage. I was going to say, maybe I'll just buy a mining ship at minimum spec and tell it to trade. <laughs> and then we've got the courier at minimum spec. No, yeah, what are you doing, Scarlet? The Mako fighter seems pretty cool. What's the difference? You're a Kanji scout. The ship will be on docking soon. Two hundred sixty grand. Mad not to. Mad not to. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. That's the plan. Lock it in. Even though a part of me really wants to just go. You're a Kanji's. Probably wouldn't hurt having a fleet of fighter craft. You know. Yeah. Yeah, bugger it. That's what we're going to do. Add to queue. Confirm order. Done. So that's in the queue for now, and it's short of hull parts. Alright. Now what's this bloke doing? He's still trading? Can I help? Um. Sir? No, I want to drive. Sorry, I am busy right now. What? Sorry, I am sorry. So, 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 sorry, I am busy right now. 
Because you're halfway through a trade? Is that what the problem is? Let's see if you can clear the station. Right, okay, so maybe you're still sort of stuck in the station order or something like that. Actually, I don't necessarily need to drive. I'll drive, whatever, I don't care. Autopilot engaged. Let's go investigate this jump gate. Um. Yeah. Fleet One. It's my mineral fleet. Unassigned ships. Station headquarters. What does that sound? Is that just money? Oh. Fill shortages, Mako. Oh, right, that's my ship, of course, that I'm in. Oops, sorry. Right. And that should still have my ship in the queue, right? Can I check the queue? Property owned. Fleets unassigned ships. Ships in construction. So when you say unassigned, it's it's they don't have a commander to run them? Is that what we're Entering saying? Reflected stars. Reflected stars. Oh, okay. I just didn't really know the name of that. Fill shortages. Very good. Find and perform multiple trades. Buy maximum amount of cargo from one seller and sell to multiple buyers. Sell off current cargo first. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that's that will actually be beneficial, having a larger cargo hold. But again, I'm kind of going for the profit from a thousand cuts. <laughs> There's a, there's a title for your video. Um, yeah, good. The real pain is, is that. Deployables. Ships with inventory. Okay. I think we've got it under control. Have a bit of a look around. Nice. All right, new new biome. Who dis? Sorry, just have a bit of a sip. You know how it is sitting in for the long haul on these episodes. You guys seem to be enjoying it, so like, I'm happy to chip away. Curious where it all goes, you know. But it's probably. All right, it's not gonna it's not gonna jump through. Why would it? System, Rolk's demise. Rolk's demise. Oh, so we've got a whole other, a whole other part. Now the trades that these dudes are executing. Are they localized? Behavior. Fill shortages. It doesn't seem... It doesn't seem localised. The only reason it is localised and they're behaving localised is because that's where I gave them the order. Do you know what I mean? When I was telling them to do auto trade, I had to give them a region to do it in. Do they do this in a descending order? I just don't know. There's so much to figure out. Anyway, so my point is, I suppose, here's the theory. If I filled this up with 10,000 fighters, and I put them all in a fleet saying, find the best trade, 
Will it start spilling out into other systems? The hope is that the answer is yes. Um, oh, mate, look at me driving. It's like the olden days. Oh! Wowzers! Nope, wrong button. I gotta have a look at that. Look at that! Wowee! That's a pretty planet, isn't it? Cool beans! Alright. I do like these sort of grand space games. I know, I know it's very popular to bash Elite Dangerous um, because that's very long form, right? Dare I say, boring, right? But kind of the 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 moments of Marvel where you see these really pretty sort of sky boxes in space are amplified, kind of because the rest of the gameplay loops a bit boring. You know what I mean. So what is this? Ice refinery. <gasps> Here we go, right? Ice mining. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Cannot give orders to a station. No, of course. Autopilot. Yeah, okay. Well, here we go. Let's, um... Fleets. Fleet 1. Information. Commander. Behavior. Mine resources. Local auto mine. We're going to change that to ice. And we're going to send you to Rock's Demise. Acknowledge. Delete all. And then... Object list. Ships. I mean other ships. Stations and subordinates. Autopilot disengaged. Yeah. Mimic. Mimic commander's behavior. Delete all. Here we go. Well, I guess if I left it, he would probably finish mining. I'm just curious. I'm curious about the fidelity of what I can do. All right, what do we got here? Defense platform. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot disengaged. Autopilot engaged. Thought I'd send out a scan while I was in the neighborhood. There we go. Another jump gate. No. Right, well, we'll have to 
jump through there. Fantastic. I'm glad that the Boron territory is a lot bigger than I initially realized. I mean, Great Reef seems to be coming along. Is the shipyard fully constructed? Remember, we had missions to... Provinces adrift construction aid. They still need hull parts and water. Hmm, but I'm still keen to set up in the Boron economy. Graphene refinery. In need of supplies? What's all this? Are these like missions or something? Autopilot disengaged. Into thin air. Find lockbox. Uh, maybe. Okay, so we've got some sort of mission thing going on here. I'll put it on my list of things to do. Autopilot. That dude mining away. Ships in construction. Forty seconds. Oh, I need those hull parts, man. Autopilot disengaged. Yeah, so the idea is if I had a million ships and I told them all just to find the good trades, they should effectively, accidentally, kind of balance the economy across the entire game. In theory, if they have infinite reach. What have we found here? Wait, graphene refinery? Oh, another... Okay, right. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is... That criminal. No, I'm good, mate. I think... It seems like there's a few missions around... ...that I could always fall back on. I, I, I just want to keep exploring for the moment. To up my financials. Presumably my fleet's making its way over here. Here they come. At least here comes one of them. Where's the other bloke? Is he... I mean, unless they're flying together. Entering system. Rolls demise. What is that? Oh wow! Look at that! That's a ship with a yeah, with a landing. Well, I, I guess we we've that's nothing new. We've seen things like that before. That's exciting. Yeah, I seem to have... Unless he's in front? Oh, he is. He's in front. I was going to say, holy heck. So they're going to be a while. My economy is just going to tank until they're there. How come... Did I accidentally go through that jump gate? Dude, there's so much. Nope. Wrong buttons. I did scan when I got here, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright. 
that. So yeah, until they rock up here and start ice farming. But that's good. Like I think in the long run that'll that'll pay off because I I kind of want to be encouraging boron development. However, there is probably an argument with sort of trying to figure out what I'm doing with my station. People have suggested I might be able to move that station, that headquarters. Might be worth building my own station around here somewhere. Might be worth thinking about it. What's this? Royal Support Key. Interesting. Disengage. Any blips out here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, we'll head over to there. I'm having a bit of a second wind with this... with this game. Now that I know... how the, uh... Now that I'm getting a bit of rhythm in the economy myself. Interesting though, because those super highways kind of link that, so I wonder if my trade ship won't stray outside of it. I guess we'll see. Are you still making a little bit? We're in 130 before. Rolks demise. So pretty. Engaged. Here we go. Entering system. Nice. Atreus clouds. Atreus clouds. Oh, we got purple. Oh, we got a super highway as well. Ah, oh, interesting. Hydra. Wait, what was that? What was that, lady? What did you say? I'll be jumping on the super highway. Let's go. I don't even know if that's the name for it. That's what I call it. You know, because surely it's just a highway, right? <laughs> you need highways before you have super highways, but no. Scarlet's decided this is a super highway. Any, like, big planets or anything like that? It's just... Oh, yeah, out there. Cool. So what do we got here? Royal Logistics Harbour. Hang on. Oh, Harbour threw me. I was like, ooh, maybe we can build stuff out here. Actually, they were developing wharfs down here, obviously. If I wanted to buy a Mako fighter at minimum loadout, hull parts, 55 missing. Maybe I queue one up here as well when I've got the cash, right? Since they're struggling with hull parts so bad. I guess I could just build these in a different economy, but no, I don't want to do that. I want I want my fleet of starfish, of jellyfish, of things. All right. Anyway, cool. All right. Well, there we go. A little bit more done. We're getting there. We're getting there. We just got to wait for our uh, our ice ships to move biome. Oh. Oh. 
Things move slowly, but that's so is so it goes in the Empire building business. Alright team, might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.